week they're finally opening the beaches up in New York for a Memorial Day weekend so I thought it was a perfect time to do this video I'm going to be sharing with you makeup routine for the beach now I am a full coverage type of girl but for the beach it's a completely different story so I know not everybody has time and bother with makeup for the beach and I must confess that I don't always wear makeup there are some times that I do and who's going or you know who you're gonna meet makeup routine and it really lasts for that hot weather I'm finished with this video I am I am gonna show you what I take in my beach bag like beach bag essential so make sure to subscribe to see that video before we get started welcome if you're new my name is Jen Jen's beauty style and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. First thing we want to do is put SPF on the face. I am extremely fair, so I like to put SPF 50. I'm going to go with the Clinique one, and this is SPF 50. So I'm going to apply this all over, and I'm going to put a nice generous amount. This is just for the face, but in that other video, I'll show you everything I use for the body and hair and everything. And I die, die for the scent of sunscreen. Like, seriously, it just makes me think of happy times, vacation. I'm gonna go ahead and use some concealer, nothing heavy at all. This one from First Aid Beauty, and it's the Bendy Avocado Concealer. And I'm just gonna put a small amount like this, nothing crazy. And if you have any blemishes that you want to conceal, I'm just going to leave that. I did that myself because I was doing a facial at home. And that's what happens. Alright, so I'm just going to take the rim finger and blend this. Just love this because it's not drying at all. It's good for my sensitive eyes. Your under eyes look really, really nice. If you're looking for a full coverage one, this is not the one. I really like First Aid Beauty. You can go with the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, which lasts up to 24 hours, mattifying second skin effect. I just love, love, love this foundation so much. You know I raved about it. And it's just so easy to apply. And it looks... It really looks like second skin. See, I didn't put a lot of product. It's just so we have an even skin tone. Of course, if you want to conceal more, like that spot that I have, if I really wanted to conceal, I would add more. This foundation is highly raved about for a reason. It's just, it's just wonderful. Of course, if you're going to have your hair up or anything, then... You would want to put around your ears as well after you put SPF on them. Honestly, honestly, you do not look cakey at all. So natural, but it has extremely good coverage. If I wanted to, I can build it up. Favorite products is this one from Tarte, and it's the Tarte Guard 30 Mineral Powder Sunscreen. This is going to be for your face, and this is what we're going to set that foundation with. And we have the SPF, so I'm just like dusting this. You see how easy that is? Like literally, you can reapply this when you're out in the sun, in the beach, in the pool, vacation, wherever you're going to be exposed to the sun. Just look how easy that is. Really done. I always put this one before. This is SPF 50. I always put this one before and just do my touch-ups with this. I'm just extremely sensitive to the sun. Now... We want to do these brows. We want to make sure these brows stay put. A product that is long lasting, sweat proof. This is the one I love. And you see that I use this in all my tutorials. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade. And I use this in the color blonde. I'm just going to take this MAC angled brush. And I'm just going to fill them in. And nothing too harsh. I'm not going to go crazy like a regular day. I just want to make sure to add some color. You guys know that I have my eyebrows microbladed, so it's easier for me just to fill in the shape. Love this, like love it. I never have to look at myself in the mirror and think like, oh, are my brows still there? Like, no, your brows will be there. Obviously, don't scrub and go crazy. Like, you know, be careful with them. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of color to the face. I'm gonna use this bronzer from Ciate, 
and the packaging is beautiful you guys saw that i just reviewed their highlighter it's gonna take this angle brush and just tap just add some definition to the face if you don't want to contour like this you can just bronze the face i usually just contour and the color is not too intense it's just really nice oh and this is in the color palm island though if you want one from the drugstore the butter bronzer it's really good i'm gonna use a blush and i know this one lasts a really long time that's why i'm using this one and it's from tarte and it's the amazonian clay 12 hour blush and this is in the color party you guys must have seen this in my full face of matte makeup on there a nice natural flush uh, this foundation makes everything look so beautiful i swear my lips are feeling really dry so i'm gonna be using this blistex medicated mint lip balm with spf 15 it's very 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 important to have spf on your lip balm well if you don't want them crusty and dry and burnt i just love medics anything medicated i love it the eyes we're gonna keep it nice and simple you can go ahead and use your bronzer again just put some in your brush use it as a transition shade we're not as flat again this is just if you want to wear some makeup this is just my routine i'm gonna go with this um little color pop um flexitarian just gonna take some on my finger like this and just pop that on the lid just a beautiful glow that around the inner corner just so we look nice and awake liner i'm gonna use is from maybelline and it's the line stylist one and this is the one i showed you in um the walmart vlog the come shopping with me this is the one and this is the only one i could recommend that is not gonna but i love a lot of liners but they're all like for different reasons just tried to do a baby wings my tough side this is where it could all go wrong i'm gonna keep trying to make them equal because i will end up with a wing like all the way here it's time for mascara i'm gonna curl these lashes the voluminous lash paradise waterproof mascara this is wonderful if you don't like waterproof then i mean i would suggest it for hot weather but if you don't like it they do have it in the regular formula as well and this gives me length and volume which i love just opens up the eyes so nicely to do my bottom lashes and because i know this one won't budge you hear me rave about this all the time is the clinique bottom lash mascara you see it's your choice but i just love this look before we set this i'm gonna go again with that powder one last time and just dust it and you see you can dust it easily highlight you can can just put some little bit of flexitary in here i don't want to bring it too in like that healthy glow to set the face i'm gonna be using the skindanavia fine mist oil free paraben free setting spray I'm just gonna make sure i spread i spray this all over nice generous amount you want to see any of my full coverage looks go ahead and watch any of my tutorials i'll leave a playlist Thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye